here to represent the color red. Uh, my first of all, my name is Pastor Kaylee Gray, and I'm the senior pastor of Christian Cathedral Worship Center in the little old big town called Oakland, California. And I'm here to represent the color red. The color red speaks many languages and travels all over the world, from the country to the continent to islands to the sky and throughout the universe. The color red also speaks volumes of communication throughout society. We as people relate through colors and red being one that talks loud and says something. We use the color red to express what we feel physically, spiritually, and emotionally. With the color red, we have conveyed red, hot anger, to loud, medium, heated love passions. We have expressed love compassionately. It's royal and it's fire. The color red cannot be unnoticed. It is a color that stands out among all colors. In a crowd amongst many different colors, red will always stand alone. But yet, attention will always be drawn to the color red. What amazes me about the color red is how we in our human life cannot live without the color red. Red is a color that leaves a mark, a stain, that can disappear but will always remain in the fabric. Even when covered up, the stain still remains. Red, red, red. The color of life. The color of the blood that flows through our veins. That gives us life. Without the red fluid that flows throughout our bodies, we cannot have life. Our natural life, it depends upon the red, the red blood. It starts with the cardiovascular system. The heart. from the blood returns to the heart through the right atrium after distributing oxygen and nutrients to other parts of the body and to the lungs. The cardiovascular consists of many veins and many blood vessels that ensure all parts of the body get adequate amounts of oxygen. Um, it gets adequate amounts of oxygen and nutrients to function effectively. The blood carries the oxygen throughout the body for life. As I have walked you through the color of red, the blood, we now turn the corner and get to the house. That was our destination. Oh, the blood. That red blood. The blood of our Savior, Jesus. The natural blood of our supernatural Savior. Jesus Christ. The color red that ran down the cross on a hill called Galgata. The red blood that was shed on Calvary. Oh, the blood of Jesus. The efficacious blood. The blood that never loses its power. The blood, the red blood that stained Calvary. Yes, that good stain. The stain that keeps on staining the stain. That we that draws us back to God every time. When I want to quit, it draws me back. When I want to stop, it starts me back. When I want to throw in the towel, he stops my hand. When I cry, it dries my tears. When I feel down and out, it picks me up. And when I lie, when I feel like I want to just die, he reminds that he gave up his life so that I would have life and have it more abundantly. I leave you with the word of God. St. John 3.16 and from there we back. For God so loved the word that he gave. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Believe. And the Savior Jesus Christ who shed the blood, the color red, the blood. When you see red, may it be the everlasting.
Seigneur, je te remercie.